This is a faith radio program. I'm Gary McCann. Thank you for joining. I'd like to acknowledge God. And our listeners, a child and his father were visiting an older neighbor. They were raking the neighbor's leaves, organizing the neighbor's garage, putting the trash out, and doing other small jobs around the neighbor's house. The child had not really seen the older neighbor up close, but on this day, the child was going to meet the neighbor up close for the first time. And when the child met the neighbor up close, he asked the neighbor how old he was. And the father was flabbergasted by his child's question and attempted to apologize to the older neighbor. But the neighbor laughed and said that, That was okay. The child is curious. The older neighbor told the child he was 92 years of age. The child had a look of disbelief, unbelief, and asked the neighbor, did you start at the number one? The Challenges of Faith radio program aims and goals are simple. It's a ministry program designed to uplift, build up people of faith. Uplifting from the perspective of providing biblical, cultural, educational, relational, and spiritual information. The Challenges of Faith radio program was formed for the purpose of strengthening and or strengthening, re-strengthening the believer of the household of faith. And that's just what the Bible says is iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. You can find that in Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. Our listeners globally consist of 81% ladies, 17% men, 1% non-binary, and... 1% unidentified, age is 17 at 1%, 18 through 22 at 1%, 23 to 27 at 4%, 28 through 34 at 18%, 35 through 44 at 57%, 45 through 59 at 10%, and 60 plus years at 8%. We're hearing on all platforms, wherever you listen to your podcast. Amazon Music, Apple, BTR, iHeartRadio, FYYD Radio in Germany, Podbean, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Did you hear? Number 18, series. That China has proposed new restrictions for Christians. Did you hear about it? That they called for churches to preach, guess what? Communist ideas, not Christ. Communist ideas. If you don't know what that is, go ahead and research for you. Don't let anybody else tell you. Tim J. C-H-E-Y, director of the firing squad, sent out invitations, information. Thank you so much for signing up to help win people in America to Christ. There's a film that he directs. It's based on the true story of three Christian prisoners who face execution in a third world prison and win the entire prison camp to Christ. Everybody's talking about the incredible, stunning ending. Grown men are crying. People are accepting Christ everywhere. Tim says this is a movement, not a movie. He said, we're trying to win one million souls to Christ through this film and possibly help save America. That we can't make America great again without Jesus Christ. 
He said, this movie, The Firing Squad, will win people to Christ. We've done all the calls after every screening across America, and we've won hundreds to Christ. And he's encouraging you to bring everybody you know, even your enemies. He uses the scripture of Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, that God will not forget the work you do for him because he's not unjust. And the Firing Squad movie will be in theaters nationwide starting August the 2nd. Let's talk about relational trust. Did you hear about the Yale student, 21, diagnosed with cancer? After months of fighting with doctors who said, She was just dehydrated and anxious as she reveals the symptoms they missed. You're talking about putting your trust in those with the knowledge, with the expertise, specifically. And they misdiagnosed her. Did you hear about the U.S. postal workers accused of stealing millions in checks? Did you hear? You're talking about individuals that you're putting your trust in to deliver your invaluable mail to you or to someone else. Did you hear about the six individuals, including two Americans found dead in a five-star luxury Bangkok Hotel, that they had drank cyanide laced tea. Did you hear about that? Officials reported that the tea and coffee cups inside the room had all been used, but there were plates of food that remained untouched. You're putting your trust in the people that's preparing your food or fixing your food or delivering your food or you purchasing it. Expect to end up dead. And God forbid you go on a trip outside your element. You never know what's in the heart of people. You know, the word talks about how that <clears throat> the heart, the human heart, not AI, is deceitful above all things who can know it. In the health world, did you hear about the 2,400 patients that may have been exposed to hepatitis, HIV, after the doctor disregarded safety protocols? Did you hear about that? I hear you going somewhere in order to be helped, not hurt. You hear that old story about you go into the hospital healthy, not sick, but you come out the opposite. Why wouldn't the doctor's protocols, you know, when you go places on jobs, newly hired, or whatever the case may be, you have to undergo a series of these tests, whether it's OSHA or whatever the case may be, I-9, whatever the case may be, safety protocol, all the different agencies that govern where you are, chemicals, you name it. And then a lot of them, as it should show at the end, how well you did, whether you passed or flunked. But here you got the doctors in their area disregarding the safety protocol. Did you hear about the scary new pink and white drug called T-U-C-I? You know, my continual theme is if I can't pronounce it, don't, don't, don't destroy the name. I'll spell it called T-U-C-I is being sold by migrant gangs. 
in New York City. Did you hear about that? The drug is known as T-U-C-I or T-U-S-I or Pantera Rosa, but most commonly referred to as pink cocaine. And though it does not always contain any actual coke, it originated from Colombia. And TUCI is a bright pink synthetic drug powder containing a mixture of cheaper substances like ketamine, MDMA, caffeine, and sometimes cocaine. This is while the drug is fairly new, was a major part of both a massive military drug bust and one of the biggest stories in 2024. It's considered a luxury drug, and a single gram sells for around $100, while regular cocaine usually costs around $60. Doctors have not noted a rise in overdose on the new drug. They're warning about the menacing mixture. You know how it is. You, you get high off a particular drug, and then you become accustomed to it, and then you begin to want to get high higher so you begin to mix whatever you're mixing just to get a higher i remember years ago as a teenager and there was a gentleman who experimented with they were known as soapers at the time i don't know what they're known as today and i think at the time he took 20 some of them you think he lived those were elephant tranquilizer pills. Do you think the human lived? What are you trying to escape from? Only when your high wears out, the problem is still there, whatever the problem is. Dr. Nelson from Santa Clara Valley Medical Center said this combination of substances can be lethal, and people should be aware of its potential impact. Did you hear? Did you hear about the former nurse that was saying that transgenderism is alive from the devil? And she was talking about medical ethics and harmful practices. And I was looking at something that was interesting. Forbes deletes an article from a DEI expert claiming Trump is will be more appealing to black voters after surviving his shooting. The USC professor, Sean Harper, claimed the injured ex-president's defiant raised fist resonated with BLM protesters but left readers blinking in disbelief. Okay. That's what he said. That's what he believed. But why would you delete it? Did you hear that a Freedom of Information Act FOIA, FOIA lawsuit has been filed against the Department of Treasury for records of foreign purchases of U.S. farmland? You know, any and every country that's been destroyed, no longer number one, done from the inside. You already knew that, didn't you? Did you hear about the taxi driver that took some carjackers on the ride of their life and they end up pleading for their life? Because he took them for a ride that they would never forget. And when you look at that video, you know, he knew it was his life or theirs. And uh, he also made sure that they would learn a most powerful lesson. And I think he slowed down after zigzagging and speeding and whatever the case may be. Because they had a weapon and they weren't playing either. And as he's driving, I mean, (laughs) 
It's not even funny, but it's funny because he knew enough to take accelerate that speed and find a point where he was going to roll out that vehicle, and he did. And uh, they were trying to roll out too. Now, it didn't say what happened in the end, but haven't seen it on the news as it relates to anybody getting killed. And I, as a believer of the household of faith, because you're talking about accountability, but I do hope those individuals come to know the Lord. while being held accountable for their crime. Did you hear about the U.S. lawmakers are demanding a probe into a Seattle-based Palestine chronicle connected allegedly to Hamas and Iran? Or shouldn't they be? Think about it all on the inside. You know it's true. And then the area as it relates to hacking and scams and recalls. Did you hear about what just happened overnight about the widespread technical outage that disrupted flights and banks and companies around the globe, you know, as it relates to Microsoft? Did you hear about that? Did you feel it? I know I was talking to a gentleman at that time, uh, what time was it? Oh, in the wee hours of last night or in the morning. And I, I let him know, I said, hey, did you, you know, there are airlines that are, are causing their planes to be stationary on the ground because of an outage. Did you hear about the sellers of edible cannabis? I was being warned to stop using packages that mimics foods that's popular with the kids. Colleen Tressler, she wrote an article, when sellers of edible cannabis products use packaging that mimics popular kids' cereals, snacks, and candy, the FTC and FDA takes notice. You know, Federal Trade Commission, or Federal Drug Administration. And not only do they take notice, but they take action. Edible cannabis like cereal, gummies, cookies, candies, and chips have cannabis that derives from marijuana or hemp. Some of these foods have Delta-8 THC, which is a part of the cannabis that causes psychoactive and intoxicating effects. After accidentally eating edibles with THC, Many kids have gotten sick and even been hospitalized. Think about that, reaching the babies. You know, your child, your innocent child. Or are they? You know, the ones that come home giving you that angelic look, whatever angelic look looks like. I've never seen an angel. Probably been protected knowingly in accordance with the word by. Did you hear about the hot dog recall after the producer misses the federal safety inspector? Here we go again about safety laws and so forth being ignored. A.W. Farms, a Kentucky-based food company, has issued a recall after the products were produced without the necessary federal inspection. The ready-to-eat hot dogs were produced on and after May the 30th and have a shelf life of 45 days, according to the recall notice. Most will be in a hotel or restaurant refrigerators since the packs are sold wholesale to hospitals. Fatality companies. The bulk products were sent through restaurant and hotel locations and, you ready? Those of you who listen to the program from these states, Ohio and West Virginia, the Food Safety and Inspection Service confirmed the issue was discovered when the Food Safety and Inspection Services was made aware of the inspection oversight public health partner, the agency explained. 
the food, the food safety and health, the food safety and inspection services is asking restaurants and hotels to check if any of the products have made their way into their refrigerators and freezers. <clears throat> if so, they're urged not to serve the products, but get rid of them ASAP. There have been no reported adverse effects from consumers eating the hot dogs, but anyone concerned is urged to contact their health care providers. Earlier this month, more than 2,000 pounds of chicken products were recalled after a possible listeria contamination was detected. The affected hot dog 10-pound boxes containing two 5-pound vacuum vacuum packed packages containing French City Food, 12 one hot dogs and packed on with various dates since approximately May the 30th, 2024, represented on the label. Did you hear that AIAP AL, AI app has a slow down? Let me take a sip of my water. The AI app will clone anyone they dislike. What? Or like? What? But it needs your what app chat? history. Are you listening? You sure? The latest AI companion app, BTWIN, promises to clone your loved one or favorite entertainer so that they can become your artificially intelligent emotional support system. Cyber News reveals the good, the bad, and what could possibly be, go wrong. Go over to Cyber News and read the rest of the story. Cyber News also reports a, a slip up by a popular fitness app exposes your health and contact of millions of people. Carafs, K A R A F S, a popular fitness app with over 5 million users, has leaked, has leaked sensitive data including your phone numbers, your email addresses, and weight. Among other records, proving that sloppy cybersecurity hygiene is a huge risk. Now, those of you you know, you may not care about your phone numbers, your email address, address, and other records, but those of you who are concerned about your weight, did you hear about it? And does a friend you met online need money for an emergency? Well, did you know that's a scam? Did you hear about it? Bridget Small wrote an article. She said if your new online friend or romantic interest said that they have an emergency and need money, that it might not mean they have bad luck. It's more likely they're a scammer trying to grab your money. So how can you tell if an online friend is a fraud? How can you tell? Don't you want to protect yourself or your loved one? And speaking of recalls, while we're still on the topic, did you hear about Atomy, A-T-O-M-I, recall smart heaters due to fire and burn hazards? Did you hear about that? Did you hear about the best lighting products recall the high bay LED light fixtures due to Fire hazards. Did you hear that Ross stores recalled their armchairs due to fall and injury hazards? Did you hear about ton gas pool drain covers recalled due to violation of the Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Safety Act and entrapment hazard that sold exclusively on Amazon.com by ton glass? Did you hear? And while you're hearing all that and you're talking about People scamming you stuff. Did you hear about the investment scam? You know, scammers reaching out, claiming to have a guaranteed no-risk strategy to turn an investment to a huge financial gain, and that those investment opportunities often operate through financial apps or websites that appear legitimate. But however, once you as a victim has committed your funds to their investment, you learn that it's fake, allowing the scammer to escape with 
your money. Did you hear about that? They took your money. Now you're looking for a job. But did you hear when searching for a job that people may come across fake job postings or be contacted by recruitment impersonators and that those job offers are typically advertising the ability to make money working from home with little time or effort needed? Did you know that the common employment scams include package reshipping, mystery shopping, and online assistant roles? Did you know that? And since you're talking about individuals posing, did you hear about the scammer that's posing as a business, government agency, Capital One employee, or vendor you work with? How they're sending you a spoofed email, you know, appearing to be from a legitimate source, or they're using a fake caller ID requesting a change in your payment or creating a false sense of urgency to send funds due to fraud or a late payment? And do you know why they impersonated it? Sometimes they'll ask you to transfer money or deposit a check for expenses and refund the balances. Did you hear about that? And so while you're hearing about that, can you identify an investment scam? Well, Terry Miller wrote a report and she identified investment scammers claiming that you'll get large returns investing in a hot new money-making opportunity, maybe something like cryptocurrency, and that some scammers say you'll likely make a lot of money if you follow their proven system or method. And the question is, are you going to follow them? And remember now, they're a scam. Did you hear about the man fatally shoved a petition mom down a New York City embankment and they had just returned from a mental health treatment? Did you hear about him? Did you hear about the individuals who was trying to recruit others to commit violent acts and killings? and the furtherance of their neo-Nazi belief system and how that their goal was simply to spread hatred and fear and destruction by encouraging bombings and arsons and even poisoning children for the purpose of harming racial minorities, the Jewish community, and homeless individuals. You know, and you already knew, if you you know the word, that even being anti-Semitic is also demonically inspired like these other acts. How about that teenager that happened to be transgender who killed their mom, their mom's boyfriend? For people of faith who know the word, that's why we say demonically inspired. Did you hear the latest that using proper English is white supremacy? Did you hear that? Did you hear about the guy that was caught smuggling 100 snakes in his pants? Did you hear? Did you hear about the archaeologist that discovered long-lost Christian palace in the Middle East, which sheds new light on religion's history before Islam? Did you hear about that? You say you didn't hear about that. Well, look up the archaeology report to get them. And thank you to the listener that sent me a subscription. Know that you're appreciated. Did you hear about the 6.4 earthquake struck off of the west coast of Vancouver Island? You see how we are caught up, should be, but caught up in everything around the globe, but that which 
we're not paying attention to that can affect you and you and you and loved ones and friends and enemies too. Did you hear about the alleged 16 suspected terrorists that was arrested coming across the United States into the United States after they were allowed in? Did you hear about them? Did you hear how the Coast Guard had detected four Chinese vessels in the Bering Sea and in international waters, but within the U.S. exclusive economic zone? Did you hear about that? Are you paying attention? Are you in prayer? Are you are you like a watchman, a watchwoman? You know, correlate them to your community, your community, your community, village, city, province, state, township, country. Who's watching? If you haven't had a chance. This past Wednesday, the cosmopolitan relationship talked about a person who just wants to date somebody based upon their outwardness, outward appearance, clothing, all of that stuff. Upcoming in the morning, why does God's children suffer? Part one of two, coming Monday on the Say What? Number seven series. Is the black community being asked not to have children? If so, by whom and why? Now, before you make an assumption, you have to tune in. But you got to remember, when I started the series that as relates to my community, remember you heard me say that our Savior started with his own community first. When I started, I shared that I was going to touch on every community of the human race created by God, you know, the human family. And then also upcoming on Monday on the Say What series, number eight, how's the Native American community doing? And keep in mind, when you're hearing the relational song, it's being sung by our beloved sister of the household of faith, Deborah, Denise. who happens to be Native and Black American, my brethren, our sister in Christ. And then also upcoming on Monday series of Say What? Number nine, how's the Latino American community doing? And again, I'm con- I'm going to continue on with each of our communities because we are living in the United States of America. But how about in your country? In yours, in yours, in yours. How are you doing? The closing scripture, you didn't choose God, but he chose you. But you already knew that, didn't you? We are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But what we know that when Christ appears, We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. 